Making money in the stock market could get more expensive, certainly could get more complicated. The U.S. tax overhaul may severely limit investors' ability to minimize capital gains on stock. It's a move that will drive up the taxes that investors owe if the Senate gets its way. That chamber's version of the, the bill mandates those with taxable brokerage accounts sell shares they've owned the longest first. Joining us now with the details is Bloomberg Simone Foxman. Uh, and like all things taxes, it gets a little complicated. So, right. you had an example in your story, and that perhaps is the best way to explain what we're talking about here. Exactly. So think of shares of Apple, uh, gone from under a dollar in the mid-90s to $170 at, at yesterday's close. Over that period of time, they've gone pretty much straight up uh, with, with, you know, with some blips here and there. Um, if you bought shares in 1995 when they were under a dollar, you'd, you'd be paying taxes on an enormous capital gains of you know, $169 or something like that. Um, if you bought them in 2012, you'd be paying uh, taxes on the difference between about $80 and $170. So your taxes night from from selling your the lots you bought in 1995 about uh, $30. 2012 about $15. So of course you'd sell the ones that you bought in 2012 and you'd hang on to the shares uh, you bought in 1995. The Senate provision would, would change that. They would say you have to sell the shares you bought first. Um, and and that, you know, that would obviously really limit your ability to minimize taxes. So if you own shares, you, you regard this as a wealth transfer. Basically, you're just transferring your wealth to the government. That's what they're doing. I understand why the Senate says they can do this because they want more money to get down to their 1.5 trillion. But if you own stock, you're saying, wait a second, I own all these shares. Why don't I get to decide which shares I sell? I can choose right. the ones with the higher bases, as it's called, in taxes. Why can you do this to me? Right. And, and you know what? A real question, I think, is the enforceability of this. Because potentially, you could have one broker that bought your 1995 shares that is hanging on to them and one that bought your 2012 shares that's hanging on to them. And if, and if you call your 2012 broker and say, sell my shares, yeah. they have no idea that you have this other 1995 account. And really, are we going to make the IRS go through this too? I mean, I, I, I think that's the wealth advisors that I have talked to talk about that as, as a strategy, frankly, to get around these taxes um, you know obviously this isn't hasn't been written into stone and it only appears in the house in the Senate bill um, so we're really gonna have to see uh, by the way I want to point out that the money expected to be raised on on this provision yeah. over 10 years how much is, is it? 2.7 billion dollars <laughs> out of 1.5 trillion right exactly <laughs> exactly so I, I mean you know effectiveness um, I, I think the, the one the one thing that takeaway that wealth advisors have had is they're trying to simplify this process. But I think I think you might be uh, running into like a really deep, complicated hole mm -hmm. if, if if this is your way of doing it. Uh, do we know where this idea came from? No, and that is actually <laughs> something that has confounded the people I've talked to. Would love to know where this idea came from. Uh, mind you, mutual funds and ETFs really pushed back on on this provision. And aren't they going to be so? Exempt? It doesn't imp apply to them, but it does apply to oh, other does. funds like hedge funds, private funds of any sort, yeah. and retail brokerage accounts. And is there any rhyme or reason as to why they're exempt in the bill? Um, they do some average cost yeah. uh, calculations, so uh, that, that essentially, you know, change the way, change the accounting. So is that they're going to get left out of it? Also, they lobbied really hard. I was going to say they might have <laughs> a few lobbyists on yeah, the initially, A Street. I don't know, but it's possible. Really that's pushed back. 